Hello everyone, welcome to the 1000 MCQ series of Pharmacist, Analyst and Drug Inspector Examination. This is our exclusive course for Kerala Analyst Grade 3 Examination. So let's get ready to crack the exam. Coming to the first question of the day, which of the following cholinomimetics activate both muscarinic and nicotinic receptors? Is it lobulin, pilocarpin, carbacol or Bethanicol. Yes, it is carbacol. It is a direct acting polynomimetic that stimulates both muscarinic receptor as well as nicotinic receptor. This means that it has a wide range of effect, effect in the body, which include lowering the heart rate, increasing the saliva production, constriction the pupils, as well as promoting urination and defecation. So, this is mainly used for treating glaucoma and to stimulate urination after surgery. So, the correct answer for this question is option C. Carbacol. Coming to the next question. Nerve impulses from the cochlea arrive first in which region of the brain? Is it auditory cortex, thalamus, medulla oblongata or all of the above? So, the cochlea is the inner ear. Okay which converts the sound vibration into electrical signals. Now, it is attached to auditory nerve. So, these signals, these electrical signals travel through the auditory nerve to the brain. Now, in the brain, it reaches to the medulla oblongata. So, the auditory uh, nerve will first reach the cochlear nuclei, which is present in the medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata is a part of brain stem. So, here the auditory information is processed. So, the answer for this question is option C, medulla oblongata. Now, bioavailability is expressed by the formula. Is it AUC IV into AUC oral, AUC oral by AUC IV, AUC IV by AUC oral or none of the above? Yes, bioavailability means it is a fraction of administered drug that reaches the systemic circulation in the unchanged form. So, this is very crucial for pharmacokinetic parameters. Right. So, the formula F, that is bioavailability, is AUC oral by AUC IV. So, the answer is option B, AUC oral by AUC IV. Now, coming to the next question. Which of the following local anesthetics is more water soluble? Is it tetracaine, hypnocaine, procaine, or bupivacaine? Yes, the local anesthetic that is more water soluble is procaine. The chemicals coming to the chemical structure of this procaine, it is having hydrophilic portion that is the water soluble portion as well as lipophilic portion that is the fat soluble portion. So, procaine has nearly simpler structure. So, more dominantly it is having hydrophilic component which means water soluble component. So, the procaine's higher water solubility contributes to the faster onset of action because it is getting readily dissolved into the interstitial fluids. Right. So, it is having shorter duration of time because of its high water solubility, it can be easily removed from the site of infection. So, the answer for this question is procaine. In AICT, the chairman is appointed by, is it the state government of Delhi, the central government, the election of registered pharmacists or the president? Yes, the AICT, it is a statutory body under the Ministry of Education and the Government of India. So, the central oversight is the main authority which appoints the chairman here. Right. So, the answer for this question is central government. That is option B. Mephintermin is used as, is it a cardiac stimulant, anti-amoebic, anti-ulcer drug or vasodilator? Mephintamine is mainly used as a cardiac stimulant because it increases the release of norepinephrine which directly stimulates the adrenergic receptors in the heart. So, these actions lead to increased heart rate, increased blood pressure as well as increased force of contraction. So, this can be used as a cardiac stimulant. Now, which of the following is a major intracellular electrolyte? So, intracellular electrolyte means it can be intracellular cation or intracellular anion. Let's see the options. Is it calcium, phosphate, sodium or sulphate? So, 
ദ മെയിൻ ദ മേജർ ഇൻട്രോ സെല്ലുലാർ കാറ്റയോണസ് പൊട്ടാസ്യം ആൻഡ് ദ മെയിൻ ഇൻട്രോ സെല്ലുലാർ ആനിയോണസ് ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് Now, why these are important? The intracellular phosphate, that is the anion, it is very much important for storing the energy, for cell signaling and for maintaining the pH balance within the cells. So, here, the answer for this question will be, it is option B, phosphate. Which of the following climatic zones, as per the WHO criteria, refers to hot and humid climate? Is it zone 1, zone 2? zone 3 or zone 4 which include zone 4a and zone 4b yes as we know hot and humid climates higher humidity are mainly categorized under zone 4 that is zone 4a as well as zone 4b so here the answer for this question is zone 4 a peptide hormone which inhibit the bone resorption and given as nasal spray is it is cortisol alendronate calcitonin or calcitriol here it is calcitonin as we know calcitonin is produced by the thyroid gland that is a follicular cells present in the thyroid gland it can directly inhibit the osteoclast why because it has to increase its role is to increase the uh, presence of blood calcium so it will inhibit the osteoclast so this is mainly available as nasal spray uh, spray the name of the spray is mia calcin so this is mainly used for the treatment of osteoporosis so as to stop osteoporosis in post menopausal women so here the answer is calcitonin some of the organic reactions are catalyzed by a product obtained from starch on treatment with amylase Okay, is it amylopectin, amylose, cellulose or cyclodextrin? So, here they have asked, it is used for catalyzing also. So, the answer is very clear, it is cyclodextrin. Cyclodextrin is obtained from starch by using the action of amylase and it is used for catalyzing various organic reactions also. Right. So, the answer for this question is option D, cyclodextrin. So this is our exclusive course for Kerala Analyst Grade 3 examination. So let's get ready and crack the exam. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.